Can you solve this puzzle in just 10 seconds? Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math puzzle posted on Facebook. And let's start. Here's the question. Which one is half full? Is it letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? Now, if you want to try this puzzle, just pause this video. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. If your answer is letter C, then watch this video until the end. So let's start. So first thing to do is let's talk about a cone. So a cone, the volume of a cone must be equal to 1 third times pi r squared h. Going back to our question, our goal is to determine if this glass is half full. To do that, we need to find the volume of the wine and divide to the volume of the whole glass. And to do that, we need the formula for the volume of a cone. Now let's see if this glass is half full. So what we're going to do is to draw some inverted triangle. This is a cross section of this cone. Next thing to do is to draw the height and the water level. At this point, we need only half of this figure. Next, let the height be equal to h and the length of this segment must be equal to 0.33 h because it is 33% high. Next, let r be the radius of the cone. Next, here's the water level. The question is, what is the radius of the water level? So to find the radius, we will use similar triangle. We have x over r equals 0.33 h all over h. Next, solve for x in terms of r. So as you can see, we can cancel out h on the numerator and multiply r both sides. And we get that x equals 0.33 r. Now we have the value of x in terms of r. We have 0.33 r. Now at this point, since we have the height and the radius, we can now find the ratio of the volume of the wine to the glass. Using the formula of the volume of the cone, we have the ratio of the volume of the wine over the volume of the glass. So we have 1 third times pi times 0.33 r raised to 2 multiplied by 0.33 h all over the volume of the glass which is equal to 1 third times pi times r squared times h. Now simplify. As you can see, all of the variables are cancelled out. h are cancelled out. We can also cancel out r squared, pi, and one third. And what remains is 0 0.33 squared times 0 0.33. Simplify and we get 0 0.035937 or simply 3.59%. Therefore, the wine is just 3.59% of the glass. It follows that it is not half full. So going back to our question, we know that A is just 3.59% of the glass. So how about letter B? If we do the same method, we get 0.5 squared times 0.5. Or simply, as you can see, we have 0.5 cubed. Now simplify and we get 0.125 or simply 12.5%. Therefore, the wine is just 12.5% of the glass. Therefore, letter B is not half full. Now let's continue. How about letter C? Is it half full? So let's see. We have 0 0.67 cubed or simply 0 0.67 squared times 0 0.67. Now simplify and we get 0 0.300763 or about 30.07%. So still, letter C is not half full. Now, if your answer is letter C, now you know that this is not half full. Now, let's continue. Letter D, we have 80% high. Now, let's see. How many percent is this 80% high? So we have 
cubed or simply 0 0.8 squared times 0 0.8. Simplify and we get 0 0.512 or simply 51.2%. It follows that letter D is the correct answer and it is half full. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D. And we're done.